Hey guys, so in this video, I'll show you how to get set up to score a game via Team Manager. So you'll see on our schedule, I've set up a dummy team called Raptors. So we'll go into that team to do this demonstration. When you're getting ready to score a game, you simply go into the calendar, find that game that you're about to score. So in this case, I've just set up a dummy game against Team Hazlitt. So you'll go in there and find that, which these games are already going to be on the calendar as you see them today. So you'll just need to find the game. So we'll go into the game. Then once you're in the game, um, you'll click on score game. Okay, so this is just the setup part because there is a setup part before you do, um, before you start scoring a game. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the home and away teams are set correctly. Sometimes it's entered in backwards. So we'll pretend that it was entered into the calendar incorrectly, showing the Raptors as the home team. As you can see here, they're on the right side of the score, indicating they're the home team. And Team Hazlitt was entered as the away team. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that's correct. So to do that, you go up to menu, top left hand corner, and then click on swap home away teams. Then you'll it'll ask you to confirm, and then I'll ask you to confirm again. So at this point, it's okay because this is the beginning of the game. If you did this sometime in the middle of the game, well, you'll lose a lot of stuff. So now that's been corrected. Team Hazlitt is now um, the home team and Raptors are now the away team. So that's the first thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is set up the team or set up our lineup, um, our team's lineup. So you'll go into my team down here at the bottom. And from here, you're going to um, set up our lineup, um, the order of our batters. Um, primarily um, so you should get um, you'll, you'll get a copy of our lineup each inning what each player is playing so you could actually make those changes from inning to inning but in this but for right now we're just really more concerned about the first inning and the order of the lineup so from here you would click on roster there's other ways you can do this, but I found this to be, I think, the easiest way to do it. So go into Roster. Now you'll see this is all our teams. This is all our players on our team. Um, and you'll activate each one of them, meaning you're going to put them in a position and put them in the order of the lineup. So as you look at my lineup that I give you, you'll create the lineup in Team Manager. So we'll say, you know... Frank Sinatra is the first batter so we'll click on his name and then we'll hit activate and then you know based on the first inning position you could say well he you know Frank is playing left field and he's in the lineup so you can see his little icon next to his name turned into a, a helmet instead of a bench because now he's in the lineup so and then we'll go down the list and we'll just pretend you know Charles Bronson activate him He's our pitcher. Go back. Great. John Wayne. We'll activate him. His first baseman. Go back. Um, Chevy Chase. Activate him. He's our, I don't know, left field. Go back. Um, let's see. Jeff Bridges. And, you know, you can see up here at the top which positions are already filled for your first inning. So then you know which one is left. But, you know, just going down the roster, you know, you don't need to really rely on what's what's still open or not. You just go down the roster and put them where they need to be. So we'll put him in right field. Um, Tom Hanks, we'll put him in left field. Oh, no, we'll put him in center. Um, Clean this wood, put him in... Um, let's see, second base, Andy Griffith, we'll put him in third base, Burt Reynolds, 
Right, so we'll put him on short stop. And then we'll have Bing catch. And then, so we've got all nine position filled. So now, you've, you know, because we play a continuous batting order in this league, everybody has to bat. So in this case, I created a team that had um, 10 or 11 um, players. So, so whoever's left over, you just click on them, whichever in the batting order they show up. Um, you just click on their name, and when you activate them, they'll default to EH, which I assume is eligible hitter. So that just means they're not in a position in that inning. They're just an eligible hitter in the batting order, and it shows that you know Fred here is going to be batting 11th, um, and he's not playing a position. So there you go. So now um, you've got everybody in the roster in the lineup, and then if you go back to the lineup, you'll see the order of the lineup. And it's in lineup screen where then you can change the order of the batting order. That's only in case as you were entering it earlier, you say enter John Wayne in at third batter, but really he was fourth batter. But then, you know, then it you can't really change their order as you're entering them in. So don't worry about that. Just keep entering them in. And so that once you're done entering them in, in the roster display, go back to the lineup display. And here you could uh, um, press and hold John Wayne and and you, you can drag him up and down. See that? You got to press and hold those three little lines towards the right of their name. Um, next to their position. Those three little lines are like little grip holders. So if you touch and hold that, you can drag them to the rightful order or place in the batting order. So, and then you can see that um, Frank Sinatra was actually one, I, for, I didn't put him in a position. So he's actually, he's got the EH in front of his name. So, so in this case, in the first inning, he's not in any position, but he is the first batter when we're up on bat. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that's setting up our team. Then, once you're set up with our team and the lineup and all that stuff, you go over to the opponent. Click on opponent down below. Okay, so here, how it says Team Hazlitt, because that's our opponent. Now you're going to set up the other team. Now, we're not gonna, we don't need to enter each of their players' names unless you really want to because obviously the opponent would have given you their lineup and they'll have their kids names in there um, so to start setting up their lineup um, the easiest way to do that is to click on lineup placeholder so if we click on that you'll see that you'll have the option to do either a 9 10 11 player lineup depending on what's on the lineup that they gave you so if they gave you say a piece of paper that shows 10 or let's just say 11 players on that piece of paper then just click on add 11 players so that when you do that that'll automatically add 11 players to their lineup and they're just going to have these you know generic names of player n o p q r s whatever right and if they're not in any position you'll see they're all set to eligible hitter and that's okay because we don't really care we're not keeping their stats um, we're just keeping our stats so we don't need to associate the stats to any particular player name but one thing but what I would suggest doing is um, when they give you um, their pitcher lineup or who they're going to have pitch then that's where you would want to start just entering those boys name in here so let's say their first inning pitcher is Billy so then you would just click on say it doesn't matter if Billy's actually the first batter but you would just, you know, click on that player and then edit player name. And then you might enter his number. You don't even have to. But you could just say um, Billy. And you can leave that or remove it. So we'll just call it Billy and hit save that. Um, you know, and they might say, yeah, on um, I, we pl also plan on um, pitching um, Timmy. So you can t and so you can take player the second player player N, and just give them a name so you can track them, because um, that way you you'll be able to um, count their pitching as well through this. 
so so it's so it's important that you know which pitcher is now pitching um throughout the game and l- let's just say that you know those were the two pitchers he thinks he's going to pitch and it's Billy and Timmy so so at that point you're done you've got their 11 player lineup you've named a couple of their pitchers that you expect to pitch um and so now you're set so once you're set you go back to score down below hit score and at this point then you set since since we're um since we're away then Tim Hazlitt is pitching first so you can see here it says hey set the pitcher for team Hazlitt so then you want to click that and say who is pitching for team Hazlitt so if it really is Billy that's pitching so just set Billy so now it has Billy pitching and see all the positions are just the the position name center field right field etc but pitcher actually says Billy on it that's because that's the only position that actually has um, anyone in that position so and that's when we're keeping pitch counts for the other team or really in general when we're scorekeeping um, from a position standpoint all we care about is who the pitcher is because we're counting his pitches for the game and at this point you are ready to keep score when um, the game starts.